Dear friends, welcome to a personalized episode of Enlighten. Today, we will dive into Google's new AI features for its home platform and innovations in sustainable technology from startups like Transaera and Cocoon. Stay tuned for insights on AI advancements and environmental solutions. Generative AI is poised to revolutionize the smart home landscape. Google announced three new AI-driven features for its Google Home platform, powered by its Gemini intelligence. These include a camera intelligence feature that generates captions for Nest camera footage, a natural language input for creating Google Home routines, and an upgraded Google Assistant with a new voice. Most features will be behind the Nest Aware subscription, starting at $8 per month. The features will debut in Google's public preview beta program and roll out more broadly next year. This development is part of Google's broader strategy to enhance its smart home platform and improve user experience. GitHub leverages AI to transform customer feedback into actionable insights, enhancing their product offerings. By integrating AI models like Bertopic and GPT-4, GitHub systematically analyzes extensive feedback data. Bertopic uses Bert embeddings to cluster and interpret multilingual feedback, while GPT-4 provides comprehensible summaries. This automation replaces the time-consuming manual classification, enabling precise trend identification and improving feature prioritization. GitHub's AI-driven analytics tool visualizes data, helping internal teams make informed, data-driven decisions and identify self-serve opportunities. This approach reinforces GitHub's commitment to user trust and innovation, ensuring developer feedback guides, product development. Now, let's explore concerns over tech giants' AI investments. Microsoft spent $19 billion on AI-related capital expenditures and equipment in the quarter ending June, a significant increase from previous years. This spending primarily went towards building and leasing data centers. Despite generating $36.8 billion in cloud revenue and $109 billion in total operating income, Microsoft and other tech giants like Google have yet to see significant AI revenue. Analysts are increasingly concerned about these investments. OpenAI could lose $5 billion this year and may run out of funds without new investments. Both Microsoft and Google insist these expenditures are long-term investments. But analysts worry about the lack of immediate revenue. Google Cloud has introduced a generative AI evaluation service within its Vertex AI platform to help enterprises determine the suitability of large language models, LLMs, for specific use cases and minimize hallucinations. The service offers two key functionalities. Pointwise Evaluation, which assesses model performance using ground truth datasets or autorators, and Pairwise Evaluation, which compares two models. Both functionalities support rapid and pipeline evaluation modes, using models like Gemini and Palm as autorators. This service aims to assist enterprises throughout the AI development lifecycle. Similar tools are provided by AWS and Microsoft for model evaluation accuracy, robustness, and bias detection within their respective AI platforms, such as Amazon Bedrock, SageMaker, and Azure AI Studio. Humane's $699 AI PIN, launched in April, faced significant returns soon after release. By August, returns surpassed purchases, with only about 7,000 units remaining in use today. Initial reviews were highly negative, with critics like David Pierce and Marcus Brownlee condemning the product. Humane is currently trying to stabilize operations and attract potential buyers like HP. The company is also negotiating with investors to raise convertible debt. Despite over $200 million in funding from notable executives, only $9 million in sales has been generated, with significant returns and cancellations. Humane's inability to refurbish returned. Pins due to T-Mobile limitations exacerbates the issue. 
the company has experienced notable executive turnover and laid off 4% of its staff. Despite these challenges, Humane aims to innovate in ambient and contextual computing. Let's now switch to the emerging AI innovations. In early 2022, Turing CEO Jonathan Sidharth met OpenAI researchers seeking high-quality computer code for training GPT-4. Turing has supplied specialized coding data, significantly enhancing OpenAI's model performance, leading to ChatGPT's November 2022 release. This pivot altered Turing's business, expanding from software staffing to AI consulting, now assisting major AI developers and companies. Turing hires experts to generate multi-turn data, crucial for training AI to understand complex concepts. This method could enable AI to become agents capable of executing intricate tasks independently. Turing's collaboration demystifies AI model development, emphasizing specialized data's role. As AI models gain specialized knowledge, they may transition from novel tech to practical business tools, heralding a potential new era in AI capabilities. Let's navigate into Google's AI advancements in Chromebooks. Google is integrating new AI features into Chromebooks, including a virtual assistant called BlueBuddy to help users troubleshoot Bluetooth connectivity issues. This aligns with other AI features like the Gemini AI chatbot, Help Me Write, Generative AI Wallpapers, and Magic Editor. The information was revealed through developer documentation for Google's Chromium web browser project. Analysts suggest that while AI can enhance efficiency, consumer trust remains an issue. Google's strong control over Chrome OS could potentially offer better security compared to competitors like Microsoft. Chrome OS uses secure boot and app sandboxing to enhance security. And now, pivot our discussion towards startup stories. Transera, a startup based in Somerville, Massachusetts, has developed a unique air conditioning system that tackles the persistent issue of humidity. Traditional air conditioners expend about 50% of their energy on dehumidification, significantly reducing efficiency. This is particularly problematic for large commercial warehouses operated by companies like Amazon and Walmart, where maintaining comfortable temperatures is crucial. Transaera's innovative approach uses a proprietary material that coats the heat exchangers in its units, effectively removing moisture from the air before it is cooled. This technology not only improves comfort, but also reduces energy consumption. The startup's dedicated outdoor air system dehumidifies incoming fresh air, easing the load on existing air conditioners. Unlike conventional systems that often waste heat, Transera reuses this heat to drive moisture from its desiccant material, making the process significantly more efficient. Founded in 2017, Transera has raised $7.5 million to date and is currently seeking an additional $6 million for field trials. Its technology promises to cut energy use for dehumidification by up to 40%, a significant reduction that could also lower greenhouse gas emissions. Cocoon is a startup addressing the environmental challenge of concrete production by creating e-slag, a processed byproduct of energy-efficient steel production serving as a cement alternative. Traditional blast furnace slag, used in greener concrete, is facing supply issues due to the shift towards electric arc furnaces in steel production. Cocoon's innovation aims to balance greener steel production with sustainable concrete creation. Cement forms only 10 to 15% of concrete, but accounts for 90% of its emissions, driving the demand for eco-friendly alternatives. Cocoon's technology, designed to fit into existing steel workflows, collects molten slag in a shipping container setup and processes it to reduce high iron content, enhancing its cementitious properties. This United Kingdom-based firm, still in the testing phase, 
recently secured $5.4 million in pre-seed funding to build a research and development facility in London and conduct initial tests at steel plants in the United Kingdom and United States. Co-founder and Chief Executive Officer Elliot Brooks envisions integrating this technology into a pilot plant by late 2025, aiming to revolutionize both steel and concrete industries. Friend, an AI companion startup, recently spent $1,800,000 to acquire the domain name www.friend.com sparking a debate about the value of branding and domain acquisition for startups. CEO Avi Schiffman claims the investment has already paid off. This move is not unprecedented. Companies like Tesla and Better.com have also paid hefty sums for their domains. Experts argue that a short, memorable .com domain can significantly impact a startup's growth by making it easier to find. And remember, Alex Harris from Fiat Growth and Olivier Tubia from Columbia Business School emphasize that the right domain adds legitimacy and can enhance SEO, especially for consumer-facing or infrequently used services. However, both Harris and Tubia caution that such an investment should not hinder product development. Ultimately, a well-chosen domain can serve as valuable intellectual property but startups must balance branding with product viability to avoid financial strain and ensure long-term success. Today, we explored how AI advancements are shaping tech giants like Google, GitHub, and Microsoft, while innovative startups like Transaera and Cocoon are tackling environmental challenges. Stay tuned for more updates. Dear friends, 